Yo, hello everybody, here we are again with our 4755 custom project. In this tutorial, do you want to know how to go from this to this? Well, pay attention to the next sections and learn yourself how to do it. Let's get to it. What is missing and what are we going to work today? A lot of people is always wondering about tires. I wonder how this, uh, I wonder what his, what, how this tractor will look like with big chunky tires with floaters. So, yes, today we are going to work on adding an amazing set of floaters to the John Deere 4755. Having said that, let's get to it and let's see what do we need. So, after looking around the store for tractors that have kinda floater tires, I've located the John Deere 9R. That might be a little bit big for our purpose, but it will point us into the right direction. Now I found out that you can select the wheel brand Midas, and if we go to the uh, white tires number two, these comes with big chunky tires. The Midas SFT 1250-50 radius 32. Now the easiest way to find where these tires are and how to set them up and actually look into the 9R XML file. So, we're gonna go and check it out. As usual, I've positioned myself into the data folder that contains all the files of the game. Remember, these files are not meant to be edited. Are I'm using them as a reference and to look for information. We're gonna move into the vehicle section and then we're gonna go to John Deere. We're gonna locate our Series 9R and in here, from in between all these files, the one that we like, the one that we're looking for, is the Series 9R that contains how the vehicle is set up, all these options in the game. So let's open it up. And here we have a very, very, very long XML. So how are we going to look for the file for the section that, I'm, that, I, that we need? First of all, my recommendation is that you press Alt on the keyboard and the number 2. So what the what the Notepad++ is going to do is it's going to collapse everything up to level 2. Vehicle being level 1 and the rest are being level 2. So right now you can navigate through the file in an easier way. We're going to look for the wheels. And inside the wheels we have a bunch of wheels again. So we need to collapse that. Now this is level 2, level 3 and level 4. We press Alt 4. It's going to collapse all the tires that we have. Now we know because in the game we say, we see that this is Midas and we have white tires number two. So let's go and find the brand Midas, Midas, and we have here Midas Broad 2. Awesome. Now if we expand it, that's going to tell us where this tire is getting loaded. The only We only need this in case that our tractor already has Midas brand Selected as Midas default, as you can see here. This is the 9R. Now we're going to look for my 4755 custom series XML and we're going to check it out. So this is my uh, my 4755 custom XML. This is the one that we've been editing and working on on previous tutorials and it's the base of this one. Now again, we have a bunch of options here. So best practice, you go here, you jump into the XML and you press Alt 2. That allows you to look for the option that you like. We go to wheels. In the wheels we have also level 2, level 3 and level 4. I want level 4. Collapse it. Awesome. Now we want to look for the same brand. So let's check if we have a Midas and a Midas default. We do. We do have Midas and Midas default. And also we have Midas Broad and Midas Broad 2. So that's going to be, that's going to come in handy. Now my recommendation is you copy this Midas Broad 2 setup. And then you go to the very, very end of the wheel configurations and you add your new tire just there. Now, it cannot be named Midas Broad 2. We already have that one. We're going to name it Midas Broad 3. But right now, this is going to load Midas and it's going to load the previous white tires that we have on this tractor. Now, we don't want that. I want to go to the Series 9R and I want to load the 1250 tires, the chunky tires. So I'm going to copy that. And instead of replacing, I'm going to put it above the physics line. And then, after doing that, I'm going to comment the previous one. Why am I doing it? Because I want a reference, especially on the radius that the previous stars were using. So now we have it just like that. 
in now all we need is to load the game and see what happens we're going to we're going to adjust all these things down here but that comes that comes later now as a reference for you guys we were using we were using a tire that was 800 width the um the side walls were 70 70 tall and the radius was 32 now we are using 1250 radius uh side walls 50 tall and the radius is 32 the same radius so i don't know the, i don't think these tires are actually um are actually equivalent but we're going to check it out and we're going to see how they look in the game of course the ones at the front are going to look absolutely horrible but the idea for you the idea of this tutorial is for you to get to the point that you know that it's wrong and how to fix it. So let's load the game and see how the new wheel setup is looking. So back in the store, we are going to try to locate our tractor. We know that it is a medium tractor and it's going to be in the modded ones, which is going to be after the in-game ones. Here we have it. June year 4755 custom and it tells me that this is a mod. We're going to jump in. And we're going to see that this is our custom tractor. We're going to jump into the brand Mitas. And we're going to start switching in between the wheels. So, white tires, white tires to rear twin wheels, twin wheels, and white tires number three. So, as I was expecting, this doesn't look all right. I was expecting that situation, especially because we're not respecting the radius that we have so these stars are looking humongously big and they are touching the frame so they are actually not not working as we want it we need to move the wheel radius the wheel rotation and we need to fix the front tires because where are my fenders for god's sake we have fenders and they are just gone we need to respect the old size of the the old size of the tire so we're gonna go and we're gonna edit this to make it look nice back into the xml the first problem that we see are the front tires these big chunky tires at the front that are collapsing and, and colliding with everything they don't look all right and they are not going to work all right now we need to figure out what is the uh, equivalent to this radius to 540 65 th r30 but in the floaters in this category in the sfds blah 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 now how do we do that we are used to be in the um, in the game files, so I'm gonna go into the game files and we're gonna locate where these tires are actually saved inside the game. Back into our data folder. This time we're not going to go to vehicles. This time we're going to go to, go to a main directory that is shared. This shared folder contains everything that is shared in between vehicles and different assets. We are going to look into wheels. We're going to look into tires, mitres, and the SFTs are the ones that we're looking for now we try we need to try to respect the radius that we were having before let me move that so you can see we were using 540 65 and r30 so do we have something in the sfts that respects that well we need to fir first of all we need to find this ones they are there is an absolute match so we're going to use this name and we're going to put it in the front now, since the game already has this configuration loaded, we don't need to exit the game and enter back. We can just click in the background, we are back into the game, we select the previous stars, and now we select the next ones. Well, there you go. There you go. The thing is, yeah, chunky tires at the back, but the front tires, they ain't so chunky. I am, uh, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed of this one. So let's see if we can find something a little bit more a little bit more impressive for the front. Let's see. Let's go back. This is the XML and this is the file. So respecting radius 30, we have 72055. 72055 may may uh fall a little bit to the front. And we have also 710, 71060, 750, 750. 55. Let's see how this, let's see how this ones look like. Those are going to be, for sure they are going to be wider. There you go. They are wider indeed, but then they are also taller. So they are touching, they are touching the mudguard. And, well, I don't know about you, but I don't like it. So let's keep looking. 
let's keep looking XML and here we went to um, 750 and that's maybe that's maybe a little bit too much let's go to 710 let's go down to 710 let's see well that looks that looks more accurate that looks more uh, proportional it look it doesn't look it doesn't look that crazy but now we need to adjust the very same position of the tire we need to adjust where the tires are and how how are going to know how are we going to know that my recommendation as follows is to use the FS22 icon generator tool against the mod that you are creating I'm gonna prepare the environment and we're gonna be back in a minute well, here we are, and I've loaded the FS uh, FS22 icon generator. This is a development version. It's the one that is been that's been published. And why do I need it? Because it's a way that we can actually load this mod with the options that we want. We can alter them and then adjust the XML according to the changes that we do. For example, let's customize this one, and I'm going to select Mitas white tires, just the the last ones that we created. And the rest of it is going to be just standard. We're going to activate here the debug load. That's very, very important. Otherwise, the the giant editor is going to disappear. So we activate debug load and we generate it. Now, this is meant to generate an icon. But since the mod does not have the tires and the tires are dynamically loaded, this process allows us to virtually see how the truck is going to look in the game. Like just right now, you see it, you see it in the background. Now, in here, this is our truck. This is our tractor. And we can see that the front, the front wheels are clipping through the fenders. We need to fix that. So if you click on the tire, it's going to drive you to the point that you need to adjust. So for example, in here, we have translate zero. We have the wheel front left already adjusted. So, if we type 0, then we move it. Uh, something that it's practic is that you select here and show you remove the selected. So, in this way, in this manner, you can actually select something. Then change it here on the scenograph here on the, on the left. And you can actually move it. So, we can see that. We can actually move. And I don't want it to be extreme, but I want it to be something like that. There you go. Now the tire doesn't move. So we see that the position is 0 0.049 when I round it up at 5, 0 0.05. Now on the XML, how do we do that? Well, we have here wheel back right, wheel back left. We have all these things that are pointing to the rear tires, but we don't need that. We need ones, we need the ones for the front. My recommendation is you select the first one and you press Ctrl D. Now, with Control D, you've duplicated these parameters with all the keywords, node, wheel back left, translations and stuff, and on and on and on. Now, the initial position of the node needs to be 0, 0, 0, and we are going to do 0 0.5, 0, 0, 0. But carefully not to move wheel back left. The one that we're moving is wheel front left. So in here, you type wheel front left. There we go. Now we need the same thing happening to the right. On this file, on this line, you select it without selecting anything. Just click on the line, Control D. You select the word left and you press R, and it's gonna type you. It's gonna give you the options you now. The right one. Careful with the right one because it needs to be negative 0 0.05. Now what happens if we save it? Since we haven't closed the game, we are here, and you can see that it was clipping. Okay. Now we go to the previous one and we select that one and we see that we made a huge mistake because we selected 0, 05 and it needed to be 0, 0, 005 don't matter now we have a delorean um that was joke aside is 0, 0, 005 joke aside sorry my bad so i broke it as usual so we're gonna go 0, 0, 005 and to save it and the delorean is gonna go and come back there you go so now we have the wheels uh, the front wheels are properly adjusted what happened with the rear tires? The rear are just are just clipping through everything. We need to move them out. We need to move them to the to the left and to the right 
depending on the wheel that you're editing. So we're gonna back we're gonna go back to the result of the icon generator tool. You can click on the wheel and then you can go to wheel back left. Now being selecting wheel back left, you're gonna be able to move it until until you feel that everything is looking alright. For example, right now I see that the wheel still touching a bit the fender moon the fender mount. So we're gonna move it up a little bit more out. There we go, something like that. So the wheel back left position needs to go 0, 0185. Wheel back left in here was going 0, 0182. We need to do 185 and down here 185. Now the wheel back left, we are also we're also uh, uh, going to be in need of adjusting it, but we're gonna see how it works. So I'm gonna save it in here. Go back to the game. You see that they are clipping. Now we move them, select them back, and now we made uh, we made a horrible mistake. Now we have a trike. There you go. If you ever if you ever wanted to drive a trike in the game, I just I got you back. Now I don't know why that ha why didn't happen. One zero one ninety two. Wheel back left. What am I moving? Uh, oh, because I moved that one. Okay. Now, sorry, my bad. This the wheel back left. It's um when you whenever you generate here in the icon, you need to go to the wheel representation node. Sorry, my bad. So the wheel representation node was at 0 0.92 and we're gonna move it at 1.01 .01. or maybe 1.1 .1. yeah 1.1 .1 is gonna work so forget about the trike now in here we're gonna go to 1.1 .1 and minus 1.1 .1. now I'm gonna move this to here and there you go we have floaters not touching, respecting all the notes, respecting everything. Now here we are and last thing that we need to do is actually check for any error that we may have. Now since I've copied the tires from another mod, this particular mod, this 4755, is using it's using a specific selection of rims that are some sort of a more classic rims, right? I have it fixed. Uh, I have it fixed already here in the store. But the problem was basically that they were looking they were looking like um, without detail. They were looking just uh, yellow piece uh, yellow piece in the center of the rim because of this error that you see up here. It says it says will config ID rim three not found. So the front rims. With this setup in the 710.55R30 that we selected, this rim was not an option, was not a configuration option. So, how do we detect it and how do we how do we fix it? Basically, basically we need to go to our tires, which were the SFTs, and we are using at the front the 710.55R30. And in here you may you can see that we don't have any we don't have any configuration named rim 3. Now, if we check on the mod, the mod is default that this our our pattern is loading at the rear rim number three. At the same time, this mod as default is using as a base config the treble the treble board default, which is going to be up here. I'm going to minimize that. And the treble board default, it's using as a configuration IDs. If we move it a little bit. This is using RIM3 for the front tires and it's using JD3 for the rear tires. Now if we check on our on our tires uh, on our new tire, we need to see if this 71055R30 it has this configuration ID. So let's go and check it out. Let's go to our tires. Now we go to the 71055R30s and this one does not have this tire configuration. Now we cannot edit these tires. We cannot edit this because that belongs to the game. This still, as you can see up here, it says data shared wheels, blah, blah, blah. So what you need to do is to file, save us and create a copy inside your mod. I have here my FS22 John Deere 4755 custom and here in locals, I'm going to save a copy of that one. Now, whenever you save the copy of this one, 
you need to create in the copy, in the one that you have, you need to create the option rim 3 for the front tires and John Deere 3 for the rear tires. Now, how do we do that? Well, basically, you need to pay attention to the first one. You need to pay attention to this setup, 42085R30. You need to pay attention and let's see what this rim 3 looks like. It's telling me where to find it. It's in tires, Trelleborg, TM600, and these tires. So we're going to go to, here we are in the SFT tires. We go tires, we go Trelleborg, we go TM600, and let's see which ones are they. These are the 42085R30. So 42085R30. In here, you can see that you have dual rim 1, rim 3, and rim 4. We only need this one, rim 3. So you can go ahead and copy that one and you can open the local copy that you created of your 710. I have it already here and you can actually add it, add it in this point. Now, something that you may want, you may, to, you may want to change in here is the fact that the width and diagram, the width and, and diameter of the outer rim is set up here in the main configuration as 2330. If you check on the original Trelleborg tire, the original Trelleborg tire is set to 1530. And in here, there is no need to change the width and the diameter of the rim. Now, in our case, since we are doing floaters, we are going to need to change that. So my recommendation is to take the parameter width and diameter of the outer rim and put it here at the end of your rim number three configuration. Now we did one. We have, we are, we are, we are okay with the front tire. We can close that one and close that one. Now we go back to our 4755 custom and we need to check on the rear tires. The rear tires are also using the Trelleborg TM600, but in this case they are using a ring 42. So let's go back, let's go back to the TM600. I have them here. And in this case, we are using 52085 R42. We go down here, 52085 R42. Now we open them and we see also that in here we have John Deere number three, John Deere three. You can go ahead and copy this section and also make sure that you save a copy of your uh, 10, uh, 1250 tires from SFT. So we go, we go back to the SFT tires. Where are they? Give me a second. Although I'm out my bracket. So we go back to tires. We go back to my test. We go back to SFD. And this one's 1250-50R32. Just make sure that you file. Save as. And you save in your, again, in your John Deere locals. You save it here. I have it already done. But you save it here. Now what how this how this file is going to look like make sure you copy this section you can close that one and now we're going to open our local our local file here with the 1250 r52 in here i went ahead and i copied there the jd3 and also since the width and diagram is different i took the time also to copy this parameter and put it here at the end to make sure that the outer rim that we have here matches with the inner rim that we are loading when the game loads the configuration, the configuration John Deere 3. Now you see also that we are, uh, I have here weight number 3. Now this weight number 3 is a configuration that is not yet available, but we will see if we work it out somehow. Now let's check into the game and see how it looks. Here in the game, we are at Trelleborg. Now we're going to go to Mitas and we're going to go to left. Here we have our new rims with the new uh with the new rims new wheels properly aligned of course it's color select color selectable i'm going to go to gunmetal you can you can go any color you like so for example you can go blue and actually a blue john deere looks awesome but it might um it might raise some bubbles here and there so we're not going to do that i'm just going to go with biscuit green new age oh i don't know Maybe scarlet red now eyes 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 oh whoa whoa blue blue so uh we can go to we leave it at John Deere yeah we, let's gonna let's let's leave it at John Deere be classic oh sorry 
So we're gonna go John Deere Green Dreams Yellow. So here we are in the store, and <laughs> there you have it, 4755 version after Christmas, having uh, eating a lot, been eating a lot. It um like his uh, like we say in the stream, his backyard is a little bit oversized, but I really like how, how it looks. I really like the look of that. Let's see if we jump in and how it performs. Now these tires are heavier and it's also that's something that it's actually uh, set up in the game. The weight of the tire. So the truck, the tractor should go slower, should accelerate, should have a less a small or a, or not so intense acceleration because of the weight of the tires. Let's try it out. Let me tell you, this John Deere with the floaters looks absolutely, absolutely stunning. Let's prepare the environment to take a picture. I'm gonna go to FOV 35 and uh, the visibility of the hood set to zero. So that's that's a nice picture. There you go. Let's see from the other angle. That hurts. Case with a the case dealer on the background. <laughs> That's awesome. So guys, uh, let me know your comments in the um, in the comment section below. Let me know what else would you like to see. On the next tutorial, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be adding lights, extra lights, additional lights, configurations that we are missing here. We have the the spot there. We have the place to set custom lights, but it's empty. We have also options of putting light in the mirrors. We have a lot of things that we can do with the with this beautiful John Deere 4755. Always listening to your comments. Always listening for what you want to see in. I guess the next one is going to be awesome. Having said that, and as usual, be nice, play nice, and see you around in the next tutorial. Bye!